I'm Kelsey Matheson, and today I want to talk about the difference between confidence and self-confidence. Now, I've been coaching for many years, but I just completed my life coaching certification at Brooke Castillo's The Life Coach School. Yay! very excited <laughs> and I have to say that both my confidence and my self-confidence has increased but let me tell you why and it starts with knowing the difference between the two so with confidence you look to your past and your past experiences I feel very confident brushing my teeth or pouring a glass of water or doing the laundry or even doing this video right now because I've done it before I've done it many times before so I look to my past and my past experiences and I have a lot of evidence in supporting my feelings of being confident in these areas right think of it as confidence supported by external evidence Okay, self-confidence on the other hand is internal. Now it's based on the belief you have about yourself. Self-confidence is an emotion that you generate without any history to back it up or any external evidence. It's all about the belief that you have in yourself. So why does this matter? Because self-confidence is the emotion that will get you closer to achieving your goals, that will propel you forward as you build your business and, and continue to create the life that you want for yourself. When the doubt demons are all up in our heads telling us that we can't do something or we're not good enough or, or smart enough or skilled enough, we're relying on what we have confidence in and that is based on our past. But when we're operating from a place of self-confidence, which is an internal, right we're open to trying new things we're more willing to step outside of our comfort zone and the coolest thing about that is that it's a choice so let me ask you this where are you in terms of your own self-confidence what do you believe about you and your ability regardless of the skills or the experience that you have remember our thoughts generate our emotions so what do you need to think about yourself in order to generate a feeling of self-confidence. I have confidence in coaching and building businesses because I've been doing that for a really long time. But now I'm generating self-confidence as an LCS coach, as a million dollar coach, as a master coach, right? That's what I want to believe about myself truly, madly, deeply as I continue to grow my business. And here's a little secret. If you want to increase your self-confidence, you have to fail more. Failing is an opportunity to increase your self-confidence. Wait, what? <laughs> I talk a lot about failure with my clients, but thinking about failure as an opportunity to increase our self-confidence is something that yeah, blows my mind wide open. It's something that really excites me. Look, I work with female entrepreneurs who want to build their businesses, who want to double their income, and, and who, who want to become unstoppable. Right? And I currently have three spots open for new one-on-one -on -one clients. So if you want to take advantage of one of those spots and finish off 2021 empowered with increased self-confidence and really rock 2022, then please connect with me. All my contact information is below. We'll set up a time to chat and we'll see if we're a good fit for each other. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you next time.